Hey guys, today we are going to be looking at minimum household budgets. We're going to answer the question, what is included in a minimum household budget? So a minimum household budget includes expenses that are necessary for a family's basic needs and does not include wants. Basic needs expenses are things like rent and house payment, your grocery bill, utilities bill, and transportation that cannot be cut from a, bu a budget because you need those things to live. Once include expenses that are not necessary, such as eating out, your phone bill, vacation, entertainment, and savings that can be cut from a budget. So it says Mr. Taylor's monthly budget for himself, his wife, and two kids is shown in the table. So it's showing all of his basic necessities. What is the monthly total for Mr. Taylor's minimum household budget? So I'm just going to add all of these categories together to figure out his total monthly minimum household budget. So it's $1,200 for the house payment plus $500 for the food plus $450 for transportation plus $175 for utilities plus $375 for childcare plus $200 for insurance. So his minimum household budget for the month is $2,900. And then it says, what is the yearly total for Mr. Taylor's minimum household budget? So to find the yearly household budget, we would take the monthly household budget and multiply it by 12. So 2,900 times 12 is $34,800. Three says Mr. Taylor is looking for a new job. He determines that a job that pays him $15 an hour with a minimum, minimum 40 hours per week will be enough to cover his family's minimum household budget. Is he correct? So let's figure out how much he would make in one month. So he's going to work $15 an hour and then he's going to work 40 hours a week, and then there's about four weeks in a month. So I'll do 15 times 40 times four to figure out how much he would make in a month, which is $2,400. His minimum budget was $2,900. So no, he will not make enough to cover his family's expenses he will be about $500 a month short. Okay, let's look at this next one. It says, Lydia just graduated from college and is trying to decide between two nursing jobs in Texas. So her salary in Austin would be 60,000 and here are her expenses. Her salary in St. Angelo would be 54,000 and here are her expenses, which look like they're gonna be a little lower. Let's figure out the monthly and the yearly total for both of them. So for the Austin, Texas salary, I'm gonna add, or for the minimum budget there, I'm gonna add those things together. So her minimum monthly budget in Austin would be $4,100. And then I will multiply that by 12 to figure out her yearly budget, which would be $49,200. Let's figure out her minimum budgets in San Angelo. So first thing I'm gonna do is find the monthly one by adding her expenses together. So her minimum monthly budget in San Angelo would be $3,150. And then I'm going to multiply that by 12 to figure out her yearly total. It would be $37,800. So number four says, what percentage of income per month would go towards Lydia's monthly Minimum monthly budget in Austin, Texas. So her minimum monthly budget in Austin was 
$4,100. Um, I need to figure out how much she's going to make per month first. So I'm going to do 60,000 divided by 12, which is 5,000. So 5,000 per month. So now I want to figure out what percentage her minimum budget would be. So it would be 4,100 out of 5,000. And I want to know what percentage that is out of 100. So now I'm going to cross multiply to solve. And I get 410,000 equals 5,000x. So now I divide by 5,000 to figure out that percent. And it would be 82%. So 82% of her income, if she lived in Austin, would go just to her minimum monthly budget. Now we're going to figure out what percentage of income per month would go towards her minimum monthly budget in San Angelo. So in San Angelo, she was making a little bit less. Let's do 54,000 divided by 12 to figure out what her monthly income would be. It would be 4,500 per month. So her monthly minimum budget in San Angelo was 3,150 out of the 4,500 she would take home in San Angelo. And I want to know what percentage that is out of 100. So now we're going to cross multiply 3,150 times 100 would be 315,000 equals x times 4,500 is 4,500 x. And then I would divide by 4,500. And that will tell me the percentage um, that would go towards her minimum budget. Which would be 70%. Six says, Lydia assumes that she will have more money to spend after her minimum monthly budget expenses are paid for if she takes the job in Austin since it pays more. Do you agree or disagree with Lydia? How come? So when we calculated it, 82% of Lydia's salary in Austin would go towards her minimum expensive and only 70% um, of her salary would go towards minimum expenses in San Angelo because the costs in San Angelo were less. So I d disagree with that because the cost of living is higher in Austin and she'll have to spend more on her minimum monthly budget.